Welcome to Vertical Q, your guide to efficient warehousing. Today, we will talk about various warehouse areas. The warehouse areas will be of different sizes and specific activities of one type or another will be carried out there, depending on the needs of the warehouse. Here are the nine common areas in a warehouse layout. Number one, loading and unloading areas. These areas are normally located outside the warehouse or attached into it. These are where the trucks and vehicles transporting and distributing goods have direct access to. Number two, goods receiving area or warehouse entrance area. After goods have been unloaded, a thorough inspection and checking is carried out in the receiving area. Number three, repackaging or staging area. The repackaging areas are located in those warehouses where it is necessary to repackage or repalletize the goods again. This area of the warehouse is sometimes integrated into the warehouse receiving area. Number 4. Warehouse Quarantine Area Quarantine areas are usually more common in food or pharmaceutical warehouses, which products must undergo a prolonged analytical control before storing. Number 5. Storage areas. This is the place where the goods are deposited and kept. Goods are stored on racking units by placing them on metal structures, which are basically made up of suitable braced frames, ledgers, and beams. Number 6. Order Preparation Staging Area. This is the area where the product is prepared prior to shipping area. The order preparation staging area can be a separate area of the warehouse or is integrated in the storage area. Number 7. Shipping Area The warehouse shipping area is next to the order preparation staging area where further packaging and inspection may be done before sending to the customer. It is used for the accumulation of goods that will be loaded into the vehicles, waiting at the loading area. Number 8. Warehouse Technical Area This is the place of maintenance of the technical and mechanical equipment used in the warehouse operations, such as powered tools, forklifts, or pallet trucks. Before we move on to the last area. If you are liking this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thank you. Moving on at number 9. Warehouse Administrative Area Part of the warehouse must be assigned to support activities at the facility, such as general and management offices, changing rooms, toilets, and the area for organizational management of the warehouse. This next image is a prototype of Central Warehouse in Damham. If you are familiar with the facility, pause this video and test your knowledge by identifying the various areas discussed. Please support this channel by typing your comment below, hitting the like icon, subscribing to our channel, and pressing the bell button. See you on our next video on warehousing and workplace English lessons.